Hello and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use Everbee on Etsy. Everbee helps you to find the best products to sell on Etsy within seconds. It has different uses. You can do product research, revenue analytics, and this helps you save time because you're able to get proper and up-to-date analytics. So how now do you use Everbee.io on Etsy? You simply go to your Etsy account. So I want you to notice that here, although I'm logged in, there, the site on this side is plain without Everbee. So I'm going to take you through the process of installing Everbee in your Etsy account and then how to use Everbee Etsy. So to do that, you'll come to your browser. I'm using Brave browser, but you can also do this on Chrome. And then on extensions at the top here, you click on that and then you click on manage extensions and then you will search for the extension that you want here. So I'll search for Everbee. You can find the extension and themes in web store. So you click on web store. So you type here Everbee and then you notice we have it here as the first one. So you click on Everbee and then you add to Brave or to Chrome depending on your browser and then you click on add extension. So now our Everbee has been, has been installed on our Etsy and there it is. So you now notice our Etsy site has changed. On the left hand side, we have all these features with a blue background and Everbee at the top. So how do you use Everbee? Now, to use Everbee, you simply search items the same way you would search, but I'm going to be showing you the difference. So here, I'll search for watch. So you notice here, we have watch, and then we have the Everbee symbol, and then we have the monthly searches for that. So you notice here we now have 4,323 monthly searches for the word watch. Watch box was searched 921 times, then watches was searched 3,552 times. That tells me the most searched word would be watch in this case. So let me just type watches and you notice the ever be again gives us what was searched differently. We have watches 3,558 times, then we have watches for men 1,303, and then we have watches for women, 1,996. That tells me that watches for women was widely searched more than watches for men. This tells me now, if I want to deal in watches, then the best ones to go for would possibly be for women, but of course it means I can go for both, but the women's one were searched more. Let me search for something else. Let me type the word shirts and you now notice anything to do with the shirt, how much was searched. Shirts, 6,545 monthly searches. Shirts for dads and then we have shirts for women. The search for shirts for women was 3,297 searches per month, which is almost double for shirts for dad. So that tells you what was searched more is shirts for women. So that is how you learn on what was searched mostly per month. But there's a lot more you can do with that. So let me look for t-shirts again. Then I show you how to use Everbee Analytics. So I've searched for the word t-shirts and the t-shirts were searched 4,000 550 times and the leading one was t-shirts mock-up at 628 and then we had t-shirts for women at 615. I'll come to Everbee and click on product analytics and by clicking on product analytics it now brings me to this page. You notice it gives me listings for t-shirts uh, the first 70 pages Average favorites gives me there, average price for t-shirts, 13 US dollars, and average 
monthly sales and average monthly sales 159. So let's assume maybe I deal in t-shirts. I'll come up here and look at maybe who made the highest number of sales. So this one had 81 monthly sales and this one had 512 monthly sales. I can also compare their prices. This one was going at 14 US dollar. This one was going for 30 US dollar, yet they sold more. Especially here when you look at total sales, this one still sold more, the mock-up bundle. And so I'm able now to look at what is trending. I can compare these two. I can even scroll down and compare others. But let me just use this first too. If now I look at the total sales for custom t-shirt men's, it's 7,354. If I look for mock-up bundle, it's 15,918. So I possibly want to know all more about this product here. So the price was 30 US dollar, sold 512 and made these total sales. So if I come to this other side, you notice I can get the reviews, but this one is available on the growth plan. Currently I'm using the free plan. Then average reviews, the average number of reviews this listing has received since being created. I can go to views, which is the total number of views for this listing. And then on this other side, I can look at other things like the visibility score that is the available again on the growth. So anything you see that has the padlock, it means it's only available on the growth plan, which you have to pay to get there. So another thing I would ask myself is, which tags did this person use to have such a great number of sales and of course such a great number of views? To do that, I simply come up here and click on tag analyzer, but I'll need to be on the growth plan for me to get that. So if you click on the tag analyzer there, so it will show you how much you would need to pay to access that. That is $19.9 per month, or you can go for the pro, which goes for $7.99 per month. So you can choose that. Now we are using the hobby one, which is only allowing us 10 analytic searches per month, and then three tags of each particular listing and no credit card re required, no credit card required. But now if this one was available for us, we would possibly click on this t-shirt and we would be able to get the tags that were used by the seller. And if you now click on that and come down here, you notice we only have the three that I have shown you here that are available, three tags for each particular listing. So you notice our keyword here, was clothing, custom, custom men shirts. So this is, or these are the keywords that were used. So in terms of using the word clothing, 5,000 people looked for that. In terms of custom, 20,371 people searched for that. So I'm able now to identify a certain keyword that is selling more than the other in terms of the volume here. But if I go for the growth plan, I'm able to even see more here. And this is the average searches per month on Etsy. So like for instance, people who searched the word custom were 20,371. It means if now I want to sell my shirt, I'll possibly write custom shirt for men. You notice now, or custom clothing shirt for men. We can also use the search keyword here. If you click on that, then you can search for the keywords here. For instance, if I look for the word mom as a keyword, then I can look for anything that could be a keyword for mom. You notice we have mom. Uh, the volume was 4,775, but mom's gift was 4,747. You can also use Etsy calculator on uh, Everbee, where you can now calculate here the sale price, the shipping price, and then the discount. Then you can look at the cost of the item, shipping cost, whatever you used in advertisement or miscellaneous then you can now calculate and know maybe your net profit, COG, shipping cost fees and all that. And then you can get your profit, net profit margin, or even the net profit, just like you can see on this side. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like our video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.